Hey folks, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I am going to show you the ins and the outs and the ups and the downs of the new 3-in-1 Specialty Brewer by DeLonghi. As you can see, it, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit different. It has the water up in the top here, heats the water, goes down through the grounds, down into the carafe. Uh, so let me tell you what the 3-in-1 means. The 3-in-1 means it will do drip, it will do pour over, and it will all do, also do iced coffee. So that's kind of nice. And this is a new concept for a, a drip brewer, per se, to have the water heating up in here like this. So a little bit nicer in some ways, I would say. Uh, SCAA Gold, which means that it is, uh, passes the SCAA's guidelines for temperature. So you're always going to get a really good cup. If, if anything you see has that on it, that means the temperature is brewing at the right uh, t the water is brewing at the right temperature so that your coffee is going to be as good as it can be. So um, this is a what is called a eight cup. It's 40 ounces European measurements. Uh, what's a little bit different about this is the actual grounds bin goes right down in here and also this grounds bin maybe you can see it has a little button right here that when you put it down into the craft, it opens up and closes. So that when you remove it, after your, brew, after your coffee has brewed, it shuts that valve off at the bottom and you put it down in this little carrier right here. And that's kind of nice. It also has uh, a heat plate for when you're doing the pour over, or not the pour over, well, yes, the pour over as well. And when you're doing the drip and when you're doing the iced, when you push this button over here, it shuts off the heat plate. And also, this is going to shut itself off after a period of time so it doesn't overheat the coffee over time. So you can brew uh, anything from two cups right up to the eight. So comes with a scoop, comes with uh, some samples of the number four paper filters right here. Doesn't come with coffee, of course, comes with a manual so that you can get to know it. And really, it's like a quick start guide. Very simple. Very, very simple. And then there was another document that comes with it as well, but it's really very easy to understand this machine. And a couple of different languages. If you flip this over and go the other way, it's another language, which I can't read. So, so I would say, let's get going with this. So we've got it filled up to eight cups. We are going to put in a filter and we're gonna brew a full pot. And then while it's brewing, I'll talk to you a little bit more about how the iced works. We're not going to show that today, but the iced. We've got some coffee that we ground up on our Rocky Grinder, and this is the mixtape from Dogwood Coffee Company. I ground it ahead of time so you didn't have to listen to that. Ooh, I just made a mess. What else is new? One scoop for each cup, so eight. And eight. All right, put this in the craft. Close this down, put this in here, and all we have to, and by the way, this button right back here, if you don't have the carafe in place, it closes off the flow of the water down into the pot. So I guess technically you could get yourself a cup ahead of time. Um, I wouldn't because the grounds are in there. I don't think that would work well. You'd have to take the grounds out. You, I'm too complicated. But anyway, it won't work without that in there. So. First thing you got to do before you even put water, well, put the water in or plug it in. Let's plug it in. Audible alarm tells you it's plugged in. There we go. Now it's going to heat the water and when the water comes up to the correct temperature, that uh, shower underneath is going to open up and it's going to go down through the grounds and into the pot. So I said I would talk about how you would do the iced and I'll talk about also how to do pour over with this. 
If you're doing ice, you fill this up to the max with ice, and then you fill the, hot, the water up here to the halfway point because you're going to dilute it with the ice, and then you push the ice button and it will make your iced coffee. And what that does as well is it shuts off the hot plate. So if you're doing pour over, you push this twice, the ice button over here, you push it twice, shuts off the plate, and also pulsates the coffee coming down into the ground. So that's how that makes it different than the drip. The drip is heating it up, going right down through without pulsating. And that's my story. So this is up to a boil. You, whoop, did you hear that click? That means that it just opened up down there, the, the uh, shower head, and it's going to let the water go down onto the coffee. We should start to see some action here in a second. Yep, there it is. No, well, we won't bore you with the whole thing. We'll wait for it to drip on through, and then we'll come back and have a taste test. Okay, our pot is done. So, interesting. And what I did note, uh, another thing I noted is while it is uh, brewing, uh, the, water, uh, the water cools off, so this kicks back in and heats the water up a couple of times while it was brewing the complete pot. Looks pretty good. Let's see how it tastes. Yep, that plate is on too. Tastes like a cup of coffee. Not too bad. So, that's the 3 in 1 Specialty Brewer from DeLonghi. Latest thing on the market. And like I said, it does pour over, it does iced coffee, and it does a drip, a pot. Cheers. Check it out on our website. And also, if you have any questions or comments down below, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks a lot for watching.